Maytag Model 92. I'll tell y'all a story. Pull the chair up about halfway over towards your middle down the front. I'll tell you a story. As it happened, a few days ago, I was, uh, the son was showing me his, uh, his, uh, tool that he adjusts the points on a Model 92. And when, when I seen the tool, I was greatly impressed with it. I mean, now that right there is a quality tool right there. It's, 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 a, it's as a good of a job of building something that actually works as I have seen in a long time. Is this, uh, it's a tool for adjusting the point back and plate on a Model 92 Maytag. I mean, it just makes it easy at first, you know. After you adjust a few of them, you don't need it. But the way the thing works, it's got a little magnet right in there. And it's a three-piece three thing there. And they screwed it together really, really nice right there. The, the, the finish work on it is just unbelievable how good it was. But the gentleman told me he's not going to make no more of these right here. The the the, 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 the guy that made these uh, per uh, telephone call, he said this is this is all he had. And uh, he says, you know, what part do you want? I said, well, I want everything you got. And he sent me this. So I assume I assume the gentleman's out of business to the point where I I actually blacked out the name there so that nobody would be calling. And, and bothering the dude. But the way this thing works right here, I'll show it to you. It fits on your coil, on that armature right there coming out of your coil. It fits right down on there, the angle there, the way that's cut. And then this part right down here is cut to where that you loosen up these two screws. I'll tell it to you step by step. You loosen up these two screws here, then you move the bottom of that point plate there, that point plate. You move that around to where it fits right in that gap in that tool right there, and then you tighten it up. And and as long as you don't move that, then your points will be adjusted. Once you once you adjust that and you put that in position, then you, you, you don't you don't move that no more. I mean you you're right on that. If the engine don't run, blame it on something else. But anyways, that would go right there. Make that real easy to do that. And also, the, the same guy, the same, same, uh, made this one. And all it is is, is that, that thing without the extra work right there. It works the same. Got a little magnet in there, a two-piece thing here. And I, I think they're welded together right there. Spot, uh, some kind of little, oh, it's really nice. But it fits right on there like that. Same way, you, you put it on that armature on that coil and then loosen these up and fit that right up in a gap right there. And you're good to go. You know, no no guesswork whatsoever. Now, as, now, as a matter of fact, I, I, I you know, I, I don't use the tool. I've got three or four more in there, different kinds. But they all do the same thing. The, the end product is the same. It's positioning this striker bar right here to open your points. That's that's the purpose of the whole thing. So, but anyways, I, I got that one, and and I got the last remaining three of this kind right here. Also, I'll show you something else that's quite interesting. And this is the last two. The the, the dude don't have any more. So. Uh, no, no need, no need to call the dudes. What I'm saying, but this and, and it's a good, it's a good project. It's a good product. I can describe it to you there, and you can and build yourself one. Uh, it, it's a, it's a round piece of steel. I'm, I'm gonna say uh, ten eighteen would be really, really good. And you turn the inside hole there to the to the dimension of the outside on this part on this 92 flywheel the center part here that holds the pulley on there and got the keyway in it so but but the way he made this here is the part bar stock 
I would say probably like this came out there then you bore this right here to the depth and all in there you have to do some calculation which he did and got it right and the way this thing works that's just a big long set screw right there and this right here is a, is a set screw also it's 5 16 on this thread here and that taper and the screw and everything is the same taper as when you remove your pulley it goes right there and then this other part right here it's a set screw that's sharp on the end and it, it would fit your this would be on your engine stuck tight it's the reason you would have this tool this would be stuck and, and your crankshaft would be sticking out here okay you remove the, the nut there and, uh, and and put this thing down on here and and take this out take take this set screw out right here and look down in there and put this thing down on there and when you center up on that uh, hole where that your set your your cinch bolt for your pulley was then, then you put this back in here and tighten it up that, that set screw right there that's where that goes okay when, when, when you do that then this right here will be affixed to the flywheel center here and then and then all you do is you tighten up this right here tighten that up tighten that up and all at once you'll hear that pulley this pulley break loose this screw right here back up and then take this off right here and set it aside waiting on the next engine it's a good tool to have it would be easy to make with some simple calculations not that I would need to measure this if you've got this this would just knock you some numbers out and turn yourself one of these but anyways I got that and then this right here is a brilliant this is a good this is a good thing right here and the work on these right here the finish work on that right there is just beautiful I mean that's some nice turning right there had a new bit in that machine I'm sure even inside there that's a quality turn right up in there a step even but this thing right here that's just a solid piece of bar stock right there rounded on the end knurled right here even and uh, just a flat turn right there with the same thread up in yonder and it does go a pretty good ways down in there uh, the thread in there and what you do is you thread this on that model 72 crankshaft you know take the nut off and put that on there and your flywheel stuck and then you strike this back here with a hammer sharply and your flywheel will just pop right off of there and then you screw this off right here with them knurls and them's really pre pretty good knurls right there too you can get a grip on that but the way it worked out is I gotta say it I got the 72 puller and the 92 puller and the small point thing right there and a uh, a stainless steel I guess that's the original version right there but it's really it's a quality tool right there I, I hate to I hate to see this tool not to be on the market at some price I mean a quality one not a knockoff I mean if you if you're gonna have one you should have the real thing so so I ended up with two extra ones of those and I, you know, I'm just gonna put them in there in the collection. I think. Yeah, you know. I mean, if you're gonna collect something, you might as well just collect these things. So, you know, I can line up all three of these right here, and then start these little ones. I got several of them run, run across here. I think I got one out of a plastic. One's made like a credit card. You know. Um, so we'll we'll uh, we'll get them on the board there and see how that looks. Uh, just a few tips for old 92 there. Multimotor. That was Maytag's brilliant idea.